Are you a yes person? I bet you said yes. Do you claim everyone's problems as your own? I bet you said yes. If you said yes to these two questions, you are not alone. Many of us do this. But there is good news for you and for me. Let me welcome you to Gray Hair Talking as we discover the power of no. Let this sweet array of angels help you focus as you watch this video. Now, as a young woman, the power of no was one of the hardest concepts for me to learn, especially during the years we served in full-time ministry. From my earliest memories, I said yes to everything. I claimed the job of keeping everyone happy. I tried to fix every problem, and I was content to be a dumping ground for everyone who wanted to complain about anything. I often joked and said, I must have a sign on my forehead that says, tell me all your problems. Now, my mindset could not have been more wrong. Although I earned a lot of gray hair learning this, in later years, I did learn that yielding to the Holy Spirit within me enabled me to understand the power of no, to let everyone be responsible for their own happiness, to accept that I could not and should not fix every problem, and to set boundaries for myself and boundaries for other people. I've also learned that the power of no is a two-way street. One way is handling how I say no to others, and the other way is learning how to handle when others say no to me. But the solution is the same. Listen as I read an excerpt from Paul's writings. I'm reading from Galatians 5 out of the message. But what happens when we live God's way? He brings gifts in our lives. We develop a willingness to stick with things, a sense of compassion in the heart and a conviction that basic holiness permeates things and people. We find ourselves involved in loyal commitments, no needing to force our way in life. We're able to marshal and direct our energies wisely. We have far more interesting things to do with our lives because each of us is an original. When we feel burdened by our own demands and demands from other people, the Spirit can help us set boundaries and, just as Paul says, direct our energies wisely. This is Rachel Solomon, and I'm encouraging you to learn the power of no, and I'm sending you blessings from Greyhair Talking.